So we made it to Oak Crow Campground. This is on the Outer Banks of North Carolina. It is a small island. It's, I say small, it's only maybe a mile wide, just guessing on that, and maybe around 15 miles long. There is no uh, utilities at this particular campsite, so there's I mean, no hookups, no water, no electric, no sewer. So it's primitive camping. You can run your generator, but you've got to have it off by 10 p.m. There is showers. I'll show you. I'll show you over here. There's uh, some bathrooms, an outdoor shower. There's an outdoor shower on that post. There's another outdoor shower just to the right of those people. And then there's an indoor shower in that building, but it is uh, it is cold water only. So cold water only on your showers. Uh, there is, like I said, a bathroom over there. And outside of that, it's just your primitive camping. You are, like I said, on a small island. You gotta take the ferry to get here and you gotta take the ferry to leave. You see the sunset over here. If you come over this side, it's only about, the island itself is maybe a mile wide. So behind us, you've got the sand dune and the distance to the top of that sand dune, it's about the same distance to the water and that's with low tide. Um, the other way, of course, it's only about a mile wide. So through those trees, you got a highway, then you got some land out to the water. And there's probably, I'm gonna guess, maybe 20 or 30 miles of bay before you get to uh, land again. So you got, the island's pretty far out. And you've got, uh, you know, of course, the Atlantic Ocean on the other side. So you're between the Atlantic and the, and the bay. And when you go north, like I said, this is probably somewhere around seven, eight miles down the island. And you take the ferry to get here. Now, when you leave and you want to go out the south end of the island, you'll be getting on another ferry. Now, the ferry to leave on the south side is a paid ferry. You have to reserve it and pay uh, for that one. Now, the ferry getting here, if you, when you're on the north end of the island, that ferry runs about every 30 minutes. There's a few different ports there. So when you get in line, you'll get in one of three sets of lines. And that was the video that we did right before this, if you saw it. So just depending on how long it took you to get there or how long the, the boat takes to get there and how many people are there. No reservations. You just show up, get in line, and wait till another, another ferry shows up. So this is Ocracoke Campground, North Carolina, Outer Banks. Quiet, peaceful, kids around. The grass looks like it's perfectly maintained. Some really cool tent sites that we saw on that back part. We're in uh, on the C loop. This is all, these are all C. That back loop back there is D. You have a tent in that back corner over here. Uh, pretty cool spots that were tucked in so you put your tent under the trees. And it's only about 100 sites, 100, 125 sites that are here and $28. So not bad at all. And I'll go to the top of that dune real quick and I'll show you just looking back and looking down at the water. Fishing out here on Ocracoke Island. I've got a supermodel down there holding my pole. Well, I came up here to get a shirt on for the sunburn. Local told us you can dig for some of these sand fleas instead of using the bait and use those for bait. So we've been trying it. We've got a few hits, but we haven't caught anything. Beach down here is pretty quiet. All right, so now we're looking from the top of the sand dune out onto the Atlantic. You can see the beach here at a lower tide. During high tide, it's washing all the way up to the darker sand. Top of the dune. Now looking back at the campground. Like I said, everybody's got a trail. There's several of these trails going up anyway. We've got one right behind ours. It looks like there's one just about behind everybody. Okay, Ocracoke Campground. Hope that gives you some information about what it's like here. And if you want, subscribe to our channel and we will continue to post these different sites that we're going to as we travel around. Also, we'll be talking a little bit here and there about some PTSD and anxiety and what it's like 
uh, traveling with that and living with that and uh, developing some new priorities and working, working, developing post-traumatic growth.